Hi, I'm Martin. I live in Cruden Bay, 26 miles up from Aberdeen. You wouldn't think it was rural, but it pretty well is. I have posterior cortical atrophy, which means I'm back to front, which is quite normal for me. And basically my senses have, are going and that I, as you can see, I can't talk, listen and sp talk, listen and see at the same time. I have to close down some of my senses. So my mind and my memory should be the last bits to go. I used to be very IT savvy in that I installed and maintained a housing benefit system back in the 90s and believe me they were quite complex and I've had I've had I've used email since the very early days probably 94 95 so as I say until I got my dementia I, were, I used to love using computers but now I'm stuck using an iPad first of all I like to talk about VR I know it's overhyped and there's a lot of bad practice about with it, but there is, I've, we've, I've found a new way of using it. Alzheimer's Scotland had a technology day and I was having a foggy day, but I still decided to go along and I was persuaded to use the VR. So I put on the headset and suddenly there was a whale coming towards me and I was swimming with the fishes. And people noticed I suddenly sat up straighter and looked more alive and it was just as if a switch had been turned on and I took it off and everyone said yeah you have a lot, lot more life than I was I started talking to people and this lasted for a good couple of days so I thought well if it's good, if it's good enough for me it should work for others so I thought I'll try and get sponsored to buy a set for the northeast so i did a virtual bike ride to london not all at once on an exercise bike and i raised enough money for the northeast to get a vr headset and a and a powerful laptop to go with it i kept it in the house over christmas and i nearly got hooked on it because if i was having a bad day i'd go on and use it I found Google Earth to be best so I could go and look at places I've been on holiday and where I'd want to go on holiday and where I used to live and things like that. But I do know that most people with dementia would find the art program better, but that's 3D in space. And because I have a lack of perception, it was just totally chaotic to me. As I say, but Alzheimer's Society doesn't know how it helped because it's not been heard of before, but it's, it certainly did. And whilst I had it here in the home every day, I felt bad I went on it. I now use my iPad a lot. I'm not ashamed to admit that I sometimes use it for games because, I mean, first of all, they, I try and think they're, they're using television games and also it lets me forget kind of the reality, if you like. But I mostly use it for communication because, as I say, I live rurally and most of the events are central built and because of my dementia I can't travel far. I use, I used to use Facebook a lot, but now I only use it to see if there's any new people with PCA and if there is, I'll chat to them. And actually I'm in the process of mentoring someone through the, the process of getting a diagnosis and what they need to do after it. I use Twitter quite a lot to get news and pass comments on, but I, I really believe Twitter has a quite a bad downside in that if you don't get comments or likes or whatever, you do feel as if you're being ignored on kind of not liked. So that, that needs to be looked at. I use email a heck of a lot because I, as I say, I, I work locally, so I'm in, in email contact with the council a lot and obviously with other with with other organizations like deep and alzheimer's scotland through through email and another advantage of email is i'm able to receive documents quite large documents and as i said because i've got my cognition if you like i'm able to read them and look at them and comment on them and um, i'm even able to go onto a web 
and go and look at the regulation, the statutory regulations and understand them, the, the actual language they're using and quote that back to people, which I do quite often and they are quite surprised when that happens. And obviously I use Zoom and sometimes Skype, but Zoom seems to be the preferred option. And that's great because I'm able to keep in contact with people face to face. And even though my eyes are usually probably half shut through the, the conferences, I still like to see folk, it's the way of seeing them. And especially in Scotland, because there'll be Ron in, in the Hebrides and there'll be other folk in the other areas that can't get to meetings so easily. And we're able to talk to each other and generally meet and see, see it's a lot better to see someone than not see someone. And I feel that in 20 years time, a conference like this won't be what IT can do because it'll be more like what specific, what specific apps can do because our cohort is the first to really have used IT for most of our lives. And so at the moment, you're, we're looking at how to introduce IT to el the elderly generation, if you like, however, and in what stage, but by the time, and in, in five years, maybe, maybe, maybe in five years time, it'll be a, just a norm. And say my, my daughter has used it since her twenties and my grandchildren were literally born with it. So my goodness knows how it will be in five, 20 years time. So in that, in that sense, we need to look forward as well as at the present, because there, there is so much stuff that can be used. I, I've, I got stuff from Ness, North East Central Services, sorry, that I allow you to talk to it and it will do things for you, like the Alexa that Ron, that Ron will be talking about, because that's what I find a lot easier is to talk to something than fiddle. Life Changes Trust is a good example of the use of technology because I spoke at a conference in Aberdeen and it was being live streamed on Facebook, which, was, which I thought was very good. But the, I think the next way that they need to look at is getting people to zoom in and talk, if, if possible, live. But this, uh, this is a good way of doing it, but I actually need, you would actually need to do it live, I think is the best way. I think, I think we're looking at that anyway, but that would be the best way. But as I've said before, what it says on the tin, life changes, trust has changed my life and has enabled me to do what I'm doing and use the talents I do have that never thought would come in with dementia.